Welcome. So it's the lecture five where we will be rendering our character. So let's get started. Okay. So first of all, before rendering, I want to add a stage for it to just make it looks more good. So shift A and add any circle and scale that. And now F to fill and E to extrude that with the Z direction. And now what we have to do is to add a subdivision modifier and let's make it 2. And it looks weird for now but just go to the edit mode control R and add 2 loops and scale that with the Z. And now right click and make it shade smooth. Now shift D and S and shift Z to just scale it like this and just grab it a bit down. And there we have just make it a bit small I think something like this and now let's start adding materials so for the first one let's just add a material stage one and let's try any color that we want I would like to try red and let's make this full metallic and now for the second one let's make it stage 2 and let's make it black so full metallic with the less of this but as you can see we see this kind of stuff so just go to the edit mode select this one and this one and E to just intersect E again and there we have it's now looks good okay now it's time for the lighting and rendering so first of all let's make this a black color the background come up here and let's make sure you have the gpu selected for better performance if you have a better gpu and after that first of all let's check here so we are in the cycle make sure it's cycle if it's ev so change it to cycle and it looks something like this so let's just hide this one and as you can see it's full black so that's what we wanted at the first then shift a and add a area light and for this one the first one it will be a rim light so just put it behind it uh, make sure it's not too far something like this in the front view just make it a bit here and let's see in the render view and as you can see uh, our goal is to create a rim light here so for that it should be here and let's make this one up to 100 and the color of the character should be uh, the color of the rim light can be blue most of it we use blue but you can use any color you like okay and now let's decide the camera angle so shift a and add a camera Put it somewhere around here control shift control alt and number it zero to snap it here and come up here to the resolution and just make it something like this resolution and now come up here to the camera and select on the camera and let's make it somewhere like this okay and let's just see it one time and yes I think this looks fine okay for the new light let's just shift a and add a another area light in the front one just make it here scale it a bit from the top move it to the X and rotate that with Z so this will be our spot light so the purpose of this will be to create a spot on the model so it should be somewhere somewhere around 60 60 power and look look something like this which seems fine okay the final light that will be a point light which will will be a fill light so let's make the radius big and make this one to about 30 and let's see in the camera 30 seems a bit more so let's make it 20 yep yep this seems fine somehow if you see this color black and it's annoying to you so you can just shift D and make a light here make sure it's with the lowest intensity like this 
so it's just for the filling so these tools are filling lights this is the spotlight and this is the rim light and it's creating a result like this okay now it's time for a little animation so shift a and make this one to the add in this empty and now select all of the stuff the character only and as you can see our area empty object is selecting selected uh, actively and it's the yellow color and now control p and make this with keep transform so now if we select this one and move it as you can see our whole stage and character is being moving and if we just rotate that so as you can see we can re rotate it like this okay so now it's depending on us how much second animation do we need it for me it should be three second and one second is like 30 uh, frames so it should be 90 but let's make it 100 so the end animation will be 100 and let's make the first one to be around okay so uh, i to add a rotation keyframe and let's make this 100 and rotate this one with 360 degree and now i and then again rotation and now if we see the animation just play it as you can see it's working but the only problem is that it's when it uh, uh, rotate fully it uh, the speed is not constant as you can see it's slow here in the start and this one and it's speedy in the middle so to have to fix this thing come up here to the animation and make this one to a crop editor and let's select all with a and now we and make this one victor and now if we come up here as you can see it's now a uh, what we call it a continue animation i think yep so now we are ready to render it uh, for the render setting just come up here and add a location that we want so for example it's the desktop let's make this uh, bmx animation and let's make this one a ff video so the output will be video let's make this a 30 frame animation and play it again if it's still okay yep still it's okay and okay let's make this one in four okay this is important it should be divided on two and now come up here and make this one an animation render but before that i would like to have a test animation so you make sure everything's fine for that just make this one to about 10 it's 10 percent resolution and make sure to make this one to 256 this would be fine for now and just render animation okay so we are done with the test animation and let's just check that so as you can see things seems fine and now we can do the final animation so for the final animation uh, just make this one to about 5 1 2 and this one to about 100% resolution or if you have a better PC you can make this one 200 so 
render it again Okay, so one frame is taking a bit uh, about 13 seconds. So let's just calculate that. So it's 13 multiplied by 100. So it's this much seconds. And if we divide it, it into minutes, so it will be 21 minutes. So I think this is a pretty good time. And we'll wait that. And after that, we will show the result. Okay, so it's done here and let's just check this one. So first save it on the desktop, but it will not. Let's just see the default one where it's saved. And yes, it's the desktop. So it's actually overrided. So let's double click on that. And yes, there we have. So thank you so much, so much for watching and I hope you learn a lot from this course and see you somewhere in the new course so thank you and bye